In this demo, we're going to show how you can use Turbot Guardrails to automatically manage your CI relationships in ServiceNow. And so in prior demo videos, we showed how you can use Guardrails to automatically sync your Amazon, your Azure, your Google, and your Kubernetes resources directly into tables or through import sets. This is now taking that a step further to then manage the relationships between those resources uh, with other cloud services. So for example, we're going to use Amazon S3 and we're going to uh, sync these S3 buckets into ServiceNow and then extend those configuration details to also include what these resources are related to. The policy to enable them is, is really simple. It's just enabling if you want this to be enforced uh, to have guardrails manage your relationships. And so here, if I just enforce enable this particular uh, relationship policy for S3 buckets, I can update that. It will then start enforcing uh, the relationships for buckets. Within ServiceNow, I have these buckets already synced. Now within the relationship table, Guardrails is now managing those relationships within the CMDB rel CI table. And it's building those relationships. So in this case, you have these four or these five buckets are in the US East one, and they are contained and contained by that child relationship with the bucket. And so because we have these relationships built, when you're looking at your CI record within ServiceNow, now you can see the related items within that. And with these related items, you can then also visualize those relationships in the dependency graph. And so here I could see that my Amazon account, this Acme Demo Sandbox in US East One region, this particular bucket, Acme Demo Turbot One, is now visible. You can extend the relationships even further. So using other resource types like VPC flow logs, we can then relate any flow logs that are matching uh, to these particular buckets. As an example, if I had uh, this VPC flow log is enabled within my Amazon account and it's pointing to this Acme Demo 1 bucket. If I wanted to uh, then also sync the flow logs, I can go to the VPC flow log ServiceNow relationships policy, very similar like I did for the S3 bucket, I can enforce it to be enabled. Once that's now enabled, Guardrails is then going to manage the relationship of the flow logs to be uh, tied to the Amazon S3 buckets that they're related to. And so going back to the relationship graph, we'll start to see that the flow logs will feed into this. So on the record here, there's no flow logs related yet. If we reload the screen, we now see that the flow logs are now uh, added and it's a fed by relationship type. And now that that relationship is then managed, if I refresh the dependency graph, that will also then build that relationship so it's visual. Super easy to you know, add resource types. You just configure the policy to enable it. You could do that across in one account or many accounts across uh, Amazon, Azure, Google, and also your Kubernetes resources. So very straightforward to enable. But once those policies are enabled, Guardrails is going to actively manage, just like it's doing for the cloud discovery and syncing uh, to your ServiceNow tables, the relationships will also be automatically managed. Uh, so for example, if I was to create another Amazon S3 bucket, and we'll just label this demo five, and then hit create. So Guardrails, uh, just like it, it always does for any other resource type, it's going to automatically discover this new bucket that was created in the Amazon account or Azure or Google or Kubernetes, and it will automatically then sync that resource directly into ServiceNow. So going back to the S3 bucket table that I have in the CMDB, we'll give it a few seconds and then refresh, and then we should see that bucket then uh, created in here. Yep, so we have that new bucket uh, created. So you have that demo five bucket, now that's automatically in service now. And then if I look at the relationship table, and I will show this list, we can now see that that Acme demo uh, bucket is now a child of US East One. And so if I click into that bucket, I could see those related items. If I was going to view the relationship graph, very similar, I will see that. In this particular case, it doesn't have any flow logs. Uh, pointing to it because I just created the bucket 
And so, but in the future, if I created flow logs tied to that bucket, you would also see that dependency in that relationship. To manage these policies a bit deeper, if you wanted to uh, take it a bit further and you want to extend the policies. Uh, so in this example here, let's say that I wanted to bring forward a uh, business app relationship. Uh, so maybe something that's already in your ServiceNow CMDB, it's business context, like a cost center or business application or application ownership. And you wanted to personalize that relationship. So we have these out of the box, but you can also extend and remix them. Uh, you can also add custom ones like I'm showing here. So in this case, I want to add a business uh, service relationship to my Amazon account layer. The policy to do that is that you tell it what the relationship type is. You state that it's either a parent or child. And in this case, I'm tying it to tags that are on the account and I'm relating it to uh, an identical name. So if it's tagged with a name that's also in the CMDB CI business app table, it will automatically associate and build that relationship. And so this is the template that you can assign. And then here I'm going to enable those relationships to occur on the Amazon account layer. And so here I'll go to enforce enable. So now I have that relationship being enforced at the account layer. I'm tying it to a business application and it's going to map this Amazon account to that business app that's in service now. And so if I go back to this particular S3 bucket, we'll then see the business app uh, then come above this Amazon account and we'll get to see that layer. And now we'll see that this business application now is coming above the Amazon account, which then ties to the region, then ties to the bucket. And then we have related resources coming off the bucket as well. There are literally hundreds of resource types that Turbot Guardrail supports across Amazon, Azure, Google, and Kubernetes. Uh, there's a number of different relationship type uh, nuances that you can set to meet your SOCOM policies that you have in your environment. Um, and it's completely flexible to literally point and click which resource types are applicable, what are the relationship types that you can edit what we have out of the box, uh, and it's very flexible and in real time in order to make sure that your resources are in sync and your relationships are actively managed at all times. If you're interested in learning more, uh, please reach out to us at turbot.com start.